Clash fans, Trample Damage, coming to you today with a Town Hall 9 Dark Elixir Raiding Extravaganza. So, I would like to start by saying thank you for tuning in to check this out. Make sure the obligatory introductory subscribe, tell everybody you love me stuff, so subscribe if you're interested. Uh, if not, leave a like on the way out. If not, that's fine. Just enjoy the content and make sure you get a lot of Dark Elixir. Uh, we're going to jump in here with the Jai March Wiz Jump Rage Heal Hero Attack Strategy to Raid for Dark Elixir. So the gist of this is Giants to lay down a shield, put some Barbarians into clear detritus, Archers in behind to pick off buildings, Wizards clear things away, and Wall Breakers to pop a hole. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start looking for a base. Generally speaking, when I'm rating for Dark Elixir or Town Hall 9. I'm looking for stuff that has at least 2,000 to, you know, more is great. Um, I'll go ahead and skip that one just because it's not, it's not enough for me. My goal normally in this uh, is to basically pop in, get two attacks back to back, and ideally I don't make use of the Clan Castle troops because it doesn't always exist for me. Uh, we'll go ahead and take this one. Uh, we'll come back on some of the how we attack things. So you got to identify the Dark Elixir storage, obviously. There it is, right next to the Town Hall. Perfect. And the drills, which, there they are. One over here, one over here, and one right here. Now, normally, I take the Town Hall, and then I find the Dark Elixir, and I draw a line between the outside of the base and the Town Hall going through the Dark Elixir. So we want to come this direction. But the drills are over here. Now, the nice thing about having some archers... Sometimes you get lucky and you can... I'm just going to waste a giant to get that. How much is that dark elixir there? It's a couple hundred. It adds up. Make sure you pick those things up each time you can. Now, normally I would come straight on this side, but this gap of stuff right here, which might have bombs or something, who knows, nope, uh, is going to create a nice opportunity to funnel for us. We'll be able to come through here and because I think we can get past this and jump right on this air defense, we'll be able to get into the core to get both of those, and we'll come through the Dark Elixir drills. So what we're going to do is a couple of giants here to create a little bit of a funnel for us, and we will patiently watch that wizard chase after the skeleton. Once I get... I'm going to go ahead and burn another giant and another wizard. I don't mind throwing a few barbarians in there to take some shots to give the wizard one more chance. So at this point, I can just lay down a bunch of giants, lay down a bunch of barbarians, lay down a bunch of archers, and I'm gonna go three wall breakers, and then two wall breakers, and then the rest of my wizards. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my clean in here. I'm gonna heal. I don't need to jump into the core, but just in case, I'm gonna make absolutely certain that somebody sees that dark elixir storage and goes after it. I usually rage somewhere near here on the outside to give the wall breakers more power, jump into the core, heal on the way in, continue healing there, and then town halls down. I'm gonna go ahead and use my archer queen's ability. I'm not, I don't want her to take damage because I want her to be alive for the next attack. So I'm gonna wait just a second to see if we can pick off that clan castle to get the other 50 drops of dark elixir. Boom. Okay, so that's it. We're done. We're out. 2400 plus no bonus because I'm living in gold too. But because I didn't waste my heroes, I now have a second army ready to go. I didn't send in my king. I still have my clan castle troops, which I'm going to try not to use in this next attack. But as I was saying, I try and shoot for 2500 dark elixir. The goal there being if I can get or 2000 or more. 2500 is great. If I can get in two attacks, not bad. Okay, so here, all the drills are down here. I think that if I jump into this middle compartment, uh, my Archer Queen is still in there. She'll be able to get that Dark Elixir storage, but I want to make sure I have a really good funnel before I start bringing this in. So what we're going to do is go Giant with two Wizards, a couple of Barbarians, just to make absolutely certain we can clear away stuff on that side, because we don't want troops to go wandering. Especially, I don't want my Archer Queen to go wandering. I'm going to do two giants over here with two more wizards and a couple of wall barbarians over there. Now, if I do wall breakers here, they're out of range of the wizard tower. And I can get them to pop this stuff right here, provided there aren't any crazy bombs there. And I want to get my archer queen 
in, and I don't want her to go wandering. I'm going to go ahead and put all five of my wall breakers in at once. I'm going to get all of my barbarians and my archers, and I'm going to go a couple wizards on the outsides here. I'm going to send my king into the middle. My archer queen should go inside with everybody else. Heal spell, jump to the core, and it's a waiting game. No clan castle troops, always appreciated. Glad for that. I'm going to be patient here. No problem. I'm going to drop my other heal spell. Again, I'm not going for three stars. I'm not looking for fame and fortune. I'm just looking for Dark Elixir. And at this point, provided, yes, good job, Archer Queen. I'm going to let the king rage through there. I don't need anything else. It's super easy. Archer Queen is going to continue pounding away there. She doesn't see the king, which is wonderful. Royal Cloak ability. Got all that Dark Elixir. Yeah, I mean, you know, take it or leave it. Get some more stuff. I can take more. I don't care. I don't need the loot. This, to me, is all about that Dark Elixir. So we got 2,200 there. Previous attack. Go back in here real quick. There you go. 2,200, 2,400. You can see these last two. It was 3 days, 21 hours, and 45 minutes ago. This was 3 days, 21 hours, and 48 minutes ago. And back to back, it was 2,600 and 3,000. So, again, I like to shoot for those... I don't know what else do I have here. Yep, see, back-to-back, 2,100, 2,300, and then not exactly back-to-back. -back. Those were a little farther apart, but you see, you see the gist. I go for, you know, you get four to 5,000 Dark Elixir each round. You know, if you do that five or six times a day, all of a sudden you're upgrading a hero every two days. So, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. Create yourself a little funnel. Draw a line to the town hall. Make sure you think you can get the Dark Elixir. It's not that expensive. It takes about half an hour to train the army. So the spells are 25 minutes. Troops are 25 minutes. If you need to cook a poison in there, it's another three minutes. Right? Yeah, three minutes. Yeah, three to cook that. Otherwise, you if you're judicious about using your heroes the first attack through and you get out while you can, then you don't even have to use them. You've got them ready for your next attack. And then if you do have clan castle troops which are always great sometimes what i'll do if my heroes do get knocked out in the first attack i'll use the clan castle troops in the second attack pretty straightforward nice and simple hope you guys enjoy the video make sure to comment down below letting me know that you think i'm wonderful and make sure you hit the subscribe button and tell your friends and family that if you want to know how to raid for dark elixir town hall 9 travel damage will show you the way thanks for watching